Lung cancer is the deadliest cancer in the world, but I'm going to show you how artificial intelligence is helping to detect and treat the disease in ways never seen before. It is often inside some of the most unassuming buildings where some of the most life-changing breakthroughs happen. There isn't any cancer here at, at this point. This is Peter McHale. He's a researcher at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. So these are slices of someone's um, chest going from like their shoulders down to their abdomen. And what he's showing me are CT scans of a person's lungs taken years ago. That region right there, is, that, that's actually diagnosed cancer. See that collection of red dots? That is an area of this lung that will become cancer. It's actually predicting that three years later, this person is going to get cancer. How does Peter know that? Thanks to a new way of using artificial intelligence to detect early signs of future lung cancer that doctors can't see. I don't tell the machine that this is what it needs to look for. It's supposed to learn what to look for. The team here decided to name their new AI program Sybil after the ancient Greek oracles, who in mythology can see into the future which is in large part what they're trying to do here. Today, the clinicians are trained to give the judgment what they see on the image, which is whether the patient is, does have cancer today or not. Well, what not we are trying ahead. to do, not looking ahead. Regina Barzilay is one of the lead researchers on the project. AI in healthcare is maybe one of the most uh, under utilized areas of application of AI. Currently, the CDC recommends adults at risk for lung cancer get CT scans each year. But even with regular screenings, radiologists can't spot everything. Sybil, though, can see what humans can't. So she's looking at like very, very, very minute patterns exactly. that, are, that are already there. That are already there, yeah. Sybil is looking at millions of tiny pixels, trying to spot patterns that in this case show the possibility of lung cancer developing three to six years before cancer shows up in a traditional screening. What Sybil tries to do is actually to look many years ahead and say how likely that this patient uh, will develop cancer. Regina and her team don't see Sybil as replacing doctors or radiologists. Instead, they view her as another tool that can be used to help doctors develop more specialized treatment for an individual's cancer. Large-scale clinical deployment of Sybil is still years away, but with hundreds of thousands of Americans being diagnosed with lung cancer each year, artificial intelligence could someday be a game changer. Do you see this saving lives at some point? I absolutely believe that it is, whenever it will be deployed in large scale, it will save lives. Chris Conti, Scripps News, Boston.